the next important thing to do is to place this tracking code on your website that you can see right here so this is the script that you have to copy so you have to select the entire script all right and then you can press ctrl c to copy the script and then you have to go to your wordpress websites dashboard and here you have to click on appearance section then here you have to click on theme editor hey everyone welcome back to a brand new video of getassist.net and in this video i will be showing you how to set up google analytics and install it on your wordpress website google analytics is a powerful free tool that tracks your website and marketing performance and helps you to improve it by the end of this video you will be able to check how many people are visiting your website from where visitors are coming to a website such as from google facebook or other websites and which pages of your website are getting the maximum views so without any further delay let's get started with the video firstly you have to open google chrome google analytics now here on the screen you have to click on the first link that says google analytics now this will direct you to the official website of Google Analytics and you will be able to see your Gmail ID in the top right corner using which you are logged in. Alright and you can even log into a different Google ID if you want using this menu right here you can sign out and sign in again. Then you have to click on start measuring. Now here you will be required to enter your account name. You can enter your website name as well in this section. Next, you will see a few options under account data sharing settings and here you can decide which settings you want to allow and which settings you don't want to allow. So you can go through the entire information, Google products and services, benchmarking, technical support and account specialist. Once you are done reading the information and selecting the desired settings, click on next. Now in the property details section, you have to enter your property name and that can be your website. Then you have to select the currency of your country. And after that, you have to click on show advanced options. Once you are done entering all the information, now here you will get the option to create a universal analytics property. So you have to turn this toggle on if you want to create and you have to create so you turn this on and then you have to paste the url of your website here all right so you can just copy your website url now here i'm going to copy my website's url and then you have to paste it here but you should avoid doing this mistake that most of the people do here you need not enter https as it is already entered all right so yeah, now from the two options that is given here, one is to create both a Google Analytics 4 and a Universal Analytics property and the other is to create a Universal Analytics property only. So for now we have to use the second option only. So you have to select create a Universal Analytics property only. And then you have to click on next. Now in the next section you have to enter some information related to your business. So first of all you have to select a category depending on the niche of your website. All right. So here you can select any uh, category depending on your website's nature. Then you have to decide the business size depending on the actual size of your business. So it can be small, medium, very large or large. All right. And after that, you have to select what all features you want to use of Google Analytics. Now here you can select if you want to measure customer engagement with your site or app and so on. So there are so many features that you can use. And once you are done selecting the features that you want to use, you simply have to scroll down and click on create. Then you have to go through the terms and conditions of Google Analytics and then select I accept once you are done reading the terms of service agreement. 
select I accept. So yes, your Google Analytics property is ready and your tracking, tracking code is also ready that you can see right here on the screen. The next important thing to do is to place this tracking code on your website that you can see right here. So this is the script that you have to copy. So you have to select the entire script, all right? And then you can press Control C to copy the script. And then you have to go to your WordPress website's dashboard. And here you have to click on Appearance section. Then here you have to click on Theme Editor. Now on the right, you will see a few options under Theme Files. So here you have to click on Theme Header. So here is the option click on theme header and then after clicking on it here you have to look for the opening of the head tag and the closing. So here is the opening of the head tag that is the opening and that is the closing. Now here you have to paste the code in the middle of that alright. So I am again going to copy the script the code and then you have to paste it in the empty space that you can see. So I'm going to paste it right here between the opening and the closing of the header tag. So you have to make sure to place the code in the right place. All right. Once you are done with that, you simply have to click on update file given at the bottom. So yeah, file edited successfully. Now, if you want to check if the code has been successfully placed or not, you have to go to your website. Just visit your website in a new tab. Now you have to press Ctrl and U key to open the source code and here you have to press Ctrl F. Now here you need to search U A dash. And this way you can verify your code and you can even verify that if it has been successfully placed or not. All right. So that's all you need to do to set up Google Analytics on your WordPress website. That was all for this topic. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you have any suggestions for my next videos, you can tell me in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching.